Alright, I'm gonna try the
like training and how to handle these situations right. and you know someone who's psychologically capable of handling these things like it really needs an, a huge overhaul of our it does. whole system I agree. Yeah. I think, I mean, here's the thing. I was, one of my good friends, she has, uh, she writes trauma material for Philadelphia. She has lots of curriculum. Dr. Megan Corrado, she's phenomenal. She writes a lot with teens. And one of the things that she said is, you know, there was no, they didn't try anything to de-stress the situation. You know, I work at the intermediate unit and we have a school you know, uh, part school for kids who might not have been able to handle school. And those teachers don't have guns and they don't just sh go around shooting their kids like obviously something was wrong she was in distress no thing nothing was used except just shoot her nothing nothing to try to de-escalate the situation at all what happens if that happened in school well, teachers have to de-escalate situations exactly. they don't just yeah. get a gun no there is no gun in school well, no now well there's security guard security but it's freaking ridiculous it was, so you know that definitely sucked because you're in the middle of this, um it was a celebration, and then I was listening to his brother's talk. Oh, it was I beautiful. Know. It was so. It was. Oh. I couldn't imagine losing, you know, a sibling. No. So difficult. No, but they were. It was beautiful. It was a really. It was. It was thank God for justice. I mean, I mean, they'll never, they'll never see their brother, son, dad again. But that murderer got what he deserved. Yeah, and one of the jurors actually came out and he started yeah. talking, and he said, um, one of the things was is that you could see there was like no remorse in the police officer at all. This is what the juror said. Yeah. So, you know, he was sitting there throughout the trial, and, you know, he was like very confident and very, um, you know, like whatever. Copper. Yeah. <laughs> and then as the trial progressed, you know, like as they got into it, you know, then kind of his demeanor kind of changed a little bit. But he said, you know, I don't think that he ever thought that he would be found guilty. Mm. Isn't that interesting? He it thought is he would interesting. just be able to get off like everybody else. Right. So sick. It's disgusting. Well, I'm so... And the juror, like, to pick up on that as a juror... <laughs> Dog friendly clock? <laughs> Should I guess what to say? Oh, yeah. What does he want to say? Oh, my dear. Shagalicious! Come here, bud! Come yeah, here. You're absolutely right, Kitty. It was... Mm. You know, cause, I mean, what do you think? He's going to get away with murder? Probably. I mean, because every other white man in America has. So, when it's, I was, you know, it was interesting because all day long, you would, I felt like it was so hard to hope that something good was going, like, that he was going to be found guilty. I had right. no hope that it would be found guilty mm. at all. Right. And that's, like, sad to know, like, oh, well, he probably won't be found guilty. But he was, and he deserved it, and... You know, his family, uh, Mr. Floyd's family, should get the justice that they deserve. Yeah. You know. I mean, just I mean, the foot, like to watch the footage I over know. and over and over again. Yeah. And be so, oh my gosh. So, that's what was happening well, there. justice is served. Justice is served. Thank I mean, God. we would hope, you know, at some point like this would never happen. Right. You know, like George Floyd would be alive. And you guys need to call your uh, state representatives, the Senate, because we need to get the George Floyd bill passed. Um, because these chokeholds and this crap that police are allowed to do, it's absolutely ridiculous and we need this pass. So call your senators, call Congress, call whoever you need to call and we need to get this bill passed. Yeah. Absolutely. So, but it was a good, it was, it was a good, it was a lot of feelings watching it. My husband started crying, then I started crying, you know, because well, he didn't think it would ever happen either. Well, hopefully this means there's change. Hopefully, hopefully we're and going to step, step. Like step. Yeah, we have a whole direction. escalator to get up, Millie, and lots of stairs, but at least, hopefully, hopefully this will be a step in the right direction, yeah. right? Yep, absolutely. Then we'll be keeping an eye on what happens to um, Makai Bryant's case. Yeah. Oh my God, I just, I can't take any more people dying because of the color of their skin. It's fucking ridiculous. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> oh, so frustrating. Anyway. Oh, what else we got? What else we got? Life oh. updates. What else is happening? Happening in your life? What's going on? Well, Alan's having a procedure done tomorrow, so okay. that should be good. Yeah, and thanks to everyone who reached out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you to everyone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, tomorrow. tomorrow we have a procedure that we're going to do. 
I don't know if you can see Shaggy pop up on the table, but he's right here. <laughs> Judith's not here this week. He's not feeling well. He has allergies. Don't oh, look. yeah. He okay. does. Continue. Aww. So the procedure tomorrow, you'll keep us updated. Yeah, he's having a procedure done tomorrow, so they're going to remove some fluids. Okay. And um, the brother-in-laws are coming this Hi. weekend to help out with the housework and stuff, you know, outside work, which is great. Yes, it's going to be nice. saves me. Are you going to get a little break? I am. So I told my brother-in-law, I said, since you're going to be here, I'm going to go out with the girls. And, you know, maybe do like a brunch and meet up and, yeah, right? Yeah, so maybe we'll call up the Philly girls or something. Yeah. See what people are doing. DM us if you're in Pennsylvania. We'll let you know where we're going to be. <laughs> right, you, you never know. You can come in the park or whatever, so we'll say. Um, oh, you know what we need to talk about, Kitty? <laughs> We're going there. And we're going there? Let's take a sip of this. We need a drink for this. Okay, let's talk about these Twizzlers. Twizzler straws are life. Um, yeah, mine dumped in. I know. There we it. go. I got it. There you go. If you need it. Just go with that. Okay, we're going to talk about something very important here. <laughs> okay, guys. Hoarding versus collecting, collecting. versus like. So, Kitty. Versus likes? Versus that likes. Comfort? Because, like, think about it. Like, there's things you like. Like, you said you like candles, but you don't necessarily collect and hoard them. Well, I do collect them. Like, every time I go somewhere, I can buy a candle. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, you do collect them. But it's not like I'm collecting. Like, but you use them. Yeah. So, you like them because you use them. Yeah. It's something like I'm out somewhere. You yeah. know, like those main items that yeah. you're like, okay, I'm at... I'm here, I'm gonna buy a candle. Right, but you use them. So I think when you use something that you like, it's a like. But when you collect something that you don't use, you collect it. Like my my aerial mug. No, I never, never use, use them. They're my collection. I cannot bring well, them. I don't have to anything them. that I collect that I don't touch. Really? Oh, nothing? Really? You have no collection of anything you don't use. Like you just Well, I would it. use anything that I have. Like I made that a point in my life. Like okay. I would always use the stuff that I have. So you think I should use my aerial mug? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Because, like, my fear is what if one breaks. You want to know why? This is it's going to go back to Barbie. <laughs> okay, so my mom yeah. got me the holiday collection Barbies. Yeah. Okay? And every year I get this holiday collection Barbie. And I was never allowed to play with them. They're, like, collectors. Yeah, they're going to work. Blah, blah, yeah, blah. right. <laughs> and then, you know, they end up sitting on the shelf. Okay, so I had all these beautiful Barbies and these beautiful gowns, like the Christmas gowns yeah. or whatever. And I, was, I could never use them. So my thing is, is that if you have something, use you it. need to use it. Like, I use all my china. I use all my glasses. I use... I just don't... I don't think I can use my arrow monkey because I think they are so precious to me that I... um. It's like my, I don't know what it is about, I just can't bring myself to use it. And plus, if I die, they go to my sister, it fell off. Well, you can do what you want. I'm not going to use it. But like, okay, so our yarn, we collect yarn, but we also use yarn. Or do we hoard yarn? <laughs> okay. Are you a hoarder of yarn? I'm not a hoarder of yarn. Now look. <laughs> So I came into my room, my special room of like magical craft supplies. <laughs> and they're like, I think this is a problem. And I'm like, it's not a problem, this no. is my stuff. Right? Right. right. You use it. Well, it's my it's Collection. all my fibers. It's like all my fibers. Right. It's my fabric. It's my sewing machine. It's like and not only that, but Alan takes up three quarters of that room. Just for the record. It was your room. It was my room. It's like my dressing slash. As soon as Alan's all the way better, he needs to convert the attic into your room. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't know. Yeah, that would be perfect. Like as a dressing room? Yeah, like as your craft central. Kitty's craft attic. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> so, I think our yarn is a collection. But here's the thing with yarn. But it is art. It is art. We're, we're collect like if you go to an artist's house or someone who collects art, they're what are they an art proprietor? Is that what they are? They're an art collector. An art collector. Right. We are a collector. We're artists, right? We are artists. We're five, we're five artists. artists. So that is our collection. So I don't think anyone should disrespect it and say we're hoarding. <laughs> 
I don't. I don't think it's right. Because we're not, like, here's the thing, when we have a project, we need to be able to go into, there's like an artist who paints, they have to have a plethora it's of our paint. It's palette. Right, it's our palette. Or if you dye yarn, right, you have to have, like, the colors. It's our inspo. It is. So if we have, like, a something we're going to make, we have to be able to go to our inspiration closet, room, house, whatever, <laughs> store of yeah. it, you know, I mean, maybe and can, pool. Maybe we can organize it better. I think that everyone should just leave everyone's craft attic station hoarding alone. That's what I think. Because if you have a pattern kit and you gotta go in there, right, you have to see what you have. Like, well, you know everything is like planned out. Yeah? Exactly. Like, well, every, everything. Pretty much. I have a lot that are planned out, and then I have some random things. But then sometimes none of that thing, none of that gives you inspiration for the project, so then you gotta get something else. Sometimes, That's the problem. Sometimes you're like, what was I thinking? Exactly. I have a couple of those, like, I was in a mood at that point, you know, now I'm not in that mood. Yeah, so what happens? Well, you might go back to that mood, right? Or it might come back in style. It's like clothes. That breeze feels good. It does. It's so beautiful. I don't know, but I don't like to be called hoarding. Hoarders. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't like it. Or yeah, I don't like it either. I'm a collector of what Buy is it? Magical Buy things. magical and beautiful things. Yeah, and right? it's a part of us and it brings joy. I know like that, but you know. A car collector is not called a hoarder. What else, what, else video do you, what else do you play? We have a bunch of things. Okay, so what else? What else do you guys? Do, is Alan a hoarder? Of oh, records. Oh, would you call a hoarder a collector? But he's a collector. He's a collector of, of art. I mean, a collector <laughs> of music. Right. And my husband is video games, like all kinds of games. And so he's a, a game collector. All right. And a basketball right. collector. So one. the things that I kind of collect. Yeah, so what do you kind of collect? No, or is it? Okay, okay. What do you kind of collect? We're, we're just well, I don't hoarding. collect, but every time, like, say I walk into a store, yeah. I can always buy a lip gloss, a lipstick, a nail polish, and a candle. Like, I could do that. Okay. Right? So every time I go into the store. Well, there's bags. Bags? Well, that's your yarning thing. So we're the same lip glosses, lip, lipstick, lip gloss, you know, same thing. Every time I go into the store, I gravitate towards mugs. I love a mug. Or tea, like mugs. I love mugs. Oh my goodness, yes you do. Okay. My mermaid mugs, I don't touch because like, I only get those ones on special occasions. Like when Ariel has a new release through Disney, I get her mug. My mom buys it for me for Christmas, I get that mug. Oh. Actually this year, my mom didn't get me the Ariel mug. I thought she did. No. Didn't you guys meet at the Disney store Christmas? No, she didn't get me the Ariel mug. She said because she got me one when we went to New York that she wasn't going to get the one for Christmas. So technically, I'm missing one, I think. I gotta go back. But mugs, regardless, I collect mugs. I don't use those, I collect them. You do collect mugs. Yes, but like other mugs that I go to the store, I use, because I love them. Yeah, because you always, like, if we're I at a store, you would grab a mug. Yeah, I gotta grab a mug. All Listen, right. I have to go through my mugs. Me too. My mugs are getting out of control. I did give a lot away. You know what, other ones are like Christmas mugs. Because oh. I need to have a lot. Yeah. I love Christmas mugs. What else do we collect? Um, bags. Bags. So, I mean, whatever. We like things. We collect things. We don't hoard anything. We don't hoard. But I do use everything. That's good. I'm going do to... Do you use everything? No, Besides I your do. mugs. Do you use all your kitchen stuff? Yes. You do? Yes. I mean, I'm, I don't use that every day. I'm not going to use my bread maker every single day, but yes. Yeah. Like, I don't, I mean, I use my crock pot, I mean, I use my crock pot a lot. I love my crock pot and my air fryer. Well, I have multiple crock pots. Well, you have a big family. You got people I know, I out. know, I know, but you know what it's like, because you yeah. have a big family, too. It's like, any given time, there could be 30 people here. Like, if my niece is, like, not during COVID, but if my nieces and nephews show up there yeah. with all my sisters and their husbands, that's at least 30 people. Things happen. I think, I think that you have to have certain things, right, because you don't know. You know, my mom has a lot of... Obviously, it's just Damien and I, right? So if my family comes, I have to plan because I might not have three crock pots because my family, it's just Damien and I usually. But I'll have to like plan out or like tell my mom that she has to bring, you know, whatever, whatever it may be. Or if Damien's, pa fam D Damien's parents come because he's one of four too and then they have, you know, my nieces and nephews on that side. So, I mean, we have... To I mean, I mean, I use all my kitchen things every day, but I do use them. Like, I have a lot of baking sheets because, like, at Christmas time, at Christmas time, I, like, bake a lot of cookies. You do. So, of course, what am I going to do? Throw them away? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, not only that, but I think, I mean, 
My house is like a destination. Like people come yeah. to stay. Yeah. Right? So you have to have, so you have, to have blankets and pillows and sheets and towels and gotta be ready for all occasions. Right? And I wanna be hospitable, right? right? I don't think you. I mean Kathy has to be a pot, so whatever. No, it's not like it's not it's not like you're one A and E. Oh my god. It's not like it's like corded. Now corded. everyone's gonna be like everyone just stop on by. <laughs> I want it down to the perk matter. Yeah, so anyway, comment below and let us know what you collect or hoard. No, it's not hoard. We're not hoarding. We're, we're not, not hoarding. Hoarding. We're like, collect your magical things. Yeah, so let us know what you collect or you like, like things that you really like, like, you know, you, you might not, you like you like candles, but you use them. So that's not a collection. To me, a collection means you don't use it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's hold on. Like, do you have an emotional attachment? Like I could walk, like I could literally walk out of my house with my yarn and my grandmother's mirror and just walk away. What do I have an emotional attachment to? Well, I mean, I really, I my really. Well, oh, wow, that's dumb. I mean, we had to take <laughs> I, the dog. I, I take my dog. Um, I mean, I would like to walk out of my house with. Um, I mean, my, here's the thing. All right, here, honest. Here's the thing. So my parents had like. Not a great divorce or whatever. And so when my parents got divorced, it was like not great. And there's a lot of things that were lost, right? So I do think I have that like trauma of rebuilding still of things that I still like. Because there's things that I really were really important that I did lose. So I, I think that like if, I, if there was a fire, I really would want my yarn. I really would need my yarn. My pictures, I mean, most of my pictures are on my camera or my phone. So I guess I would want my phone. And um, I really would want my aerial things. Everything else. Your yarn. My yarn, my mermaid mugs, and obviously my husband, you know, and the dog. Other than that, like, I would be able to rebuild. And, and it's like, pretty scary because we have someone in our life, right, who did lose everything, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's hard for her. That yeah, so it's very trauma. hard. And one of the things I did learn from her is that she did have, like, um, containers that had like her kids very important things for their kids and so they were in like rubber made containers and she had them high up so when their house flooded they that was at least something they were able to see was to grab each of those three containers right and i think that was you know something to keep in the back of your head too like is if i had to put together like a container or something one container what would i put in there oh yeah like my photo like you know there's yeah. a photo uh, like the eye books or whatever okay I'd have to throw that in. Right, so like, what is that one thing? Because literally they could not, they weren't home, and her husband was the one who had to go into that house and get the dog, the cat, and the three things. And whatever else, like, things were not damaged. That was it. That was yeah. it. So I, it does put things in perspective for you, right? Like, So you know what? I think talking through this, I am going to try, try, to use one mermaid mug this week that I don't use. Really? Like, I have one mermaid oh. mug that I do use, well, like yeah. you know, like one that I like Listen, a knock off. But, but don't you sometimes have like two of this, two of the mugs. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jake, you just ruined it. So everyone, yeah, stop talking. Stop talking, Kitty. Oh, Jake. Now they're the up order. But you do have two of the same Some <laughs> that are very important to me in case one cracks, okay? But this week, no, next week. Which one are you going to use? Okay, all right, let me think about it. All right, there's ones <laughs> I can't use, all right? Because, like, with, like, when Ariel came to Broadway, she's not on Broadway anymore. I can't use that mug. Well, sometimes I'll never be able to replace it. All right, this one is you guys. I have one mermaid mug that I use a lot. Like, it's a knockoff, so I don't mind using it. This week, I'm going, oh my god, look, I'm going to get high. This week, I am going to <laughs> use a mermaid mug. And I'm going to use my mermaid mug that's like a tea saucer. The top of it is like maybe Ariel, the bottom's Ursula. I don't know. It's a two-part one. I'm going to use it okay. next week. You're going to see an Instagram it's photo. It's going to be on Instagram. I'm going to use it. I, and I, if you see tears running down my face while I'm using it, you'll know why. But you're, you're like, oh, you're not going to break it. But my husband, he broke my Wicked mug. And now I have a lot of, like, I can't ever get that mug now. Okay. He put it in the dishwasher. I told him don't put it in the dishwasher. 
And it's Chick. And I said, who checked my mug? He said, Judah. <laughs> I didn't know Judah didn't do it. He said, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to use the mug. Oh my gosh, it's getting hot in here now. It is getting hot in here. This All right, what are we wearing? Because i got to strip. <laughs> oh, what are we wearing? You go first. You go first. All right, I don't remember. This is The Sway by Addy Day Designs. I love Addy Day. It's called The Sway. And the yarn is Farmer's Daughter. And Bijou, oh uh, no, it's Farmer's Daughter and, yeah, Bijou Base and Ranch. I don't think they die yarn anymore. They sold, yeah, I think company. they sold out. And Farmer's Daughter. So these are the two. I want to, really it's in. like a cow or, no, it's like a shawl thing. Um, and, like I said, Addy Daddy. Here's the thing. I'm going to be completely honest, transparent. Um, Bijou Base and Ranch the yarn was phenomenal. It was my favorite yarn to work with. I love the Farmer's Daughter color, but it did peel a lot when working with it. At least crocheting, it peeled, it peeled a lot. Oh, it like, peeled? Yeah, a lot. So, um, that's the truth. I love the color. Don't get this off. I will um, I believe, I don't, maybe it was just those two colors, I guess. Yeah, I really love it, but it did peel a lot, the Farmer's it Daughter. I don't even see it peel. Trust me, when I was using the hook, I was getting so annoyed. So that was crocheting with it. You know, if you're knitting with it, you might have a different experience. But um, it did help. And something with the winding. Yes. You remembered that. Thank God you remember that. See, that's how you all should have a yarn, Bestie. Yes, when I wound it, it did not wind very well. I mean, I don't know if that was really the yard. It could have been the winding. Sometimes you, know? you get one free thing where it's like the winding just goes and you're like, yeah, oh, but it's really wonky. Like that Utopia, y'all. Remember that? The. Oh my yeah. gosh, it took me like three weeks to do that. that. And yeah. it, had, it like wrapped around my rock. And yes. It was yes. awful. So, so was like the, um, oh, what yarn was that? Utopia. And it was, Birds of a Feather. No. Mm -hmm. No. I forget what, which one I used it in. You it's, didn't use it in the poncho one. The, Whatever the poncho the, one is. It wasn't birds of a feather? Black feather? No, black I didn't do them. It was black bird. It was a black bird. It was black bird, yeah. Black it's not birds of a feather. No, I knew it was something like a bird. This is um, pretty good, I remember it. So are you. How did you remember it? So oh, anyway, right. yeah, so that yarn was really hard. It was like, um, you know, it's like a... Was it like mohair? Yeah, mohair. Yeah. It was mohair. Yeah, this was hard. It um, was a nightmare. Crocheting with this, it kept like, and I tried, like, I used different hooks, like, I switched from, like, a metal to a wooden, and it still was there. I did, like, a blunt tip and then a non-blunt tip. I prefer, like, a blunt tip on my hook, and I prefer wooden ones, but, um, it did pill a lot, and I, it was, I was getting really annoyed doing it, to be completely honest. Did you honest. have to shave it? No. I don't think so. No, I didn't. The Bijou Basin, I really, they, that was phenomenal. I have a whole, I think I have two more skeins oh, yeah. of that that I won't use. Well, I will use eventually, but I like, I really like that yarn. But Primer Starter, it was not successful for me with crochet. Okay. What are you wearing? Okay, guys, it's finished, but it's not blocked. Let's okay. just say that, okay? So it's a satellite shawl by Andrea Mallory. Here, grab the other half. Here it is, and it's glory. I have to block it yet, but it's done. It feels Isn't so it good. stunning? Oh my gosh. You're gonna like live in it. Okay, so it's Labiana Me yarn. So I used the Helix, which is the gray. I used the gray and the Helix yarn, which is the gray one. Yeah. Oh, one of the things That's I learned, one. no, while you're talking about this, sorry to interrupt, is that we are gonna, we're gonna have to make a conscious effort to when we show things, not talk. Because people who might be hearing impaired and read our lips. Okay. I learned that from Best Day Ever, Trisha's podcast, who learned it from somebody else. And I was like, I need to make a mental note of that. Yeah, because a lot of people started putting, like, subtitles. Yeah, like, there's stuff. yeah. I know it's, like, an option when you actually go right. on YouTube. You can do it. Yes. So, yeah. we should try. Okay, so, let's, sorry. Let's take a look. Yeah. Everyone take a look. See? I mean, it's so pretty. I can't even. She's, like, a genius. It's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. It is pretty, right? So pretty. And it took me forever to weave in the ends, people. It was like weaving in the ends. Look at that brioche. So this is my first two-color brioche. Brioche! It's so stunning. good. It's beautiful. I love it, Kit. The yarn is phenomenal. So good. Okay, so okay, so it's French gray, uh, and the Kumo, it's Dawn, Yellow Brook Road, and the Sansa. So the Yellow Brook Road is her her, her yellow. Signature. That's her signature color. 
And then this is the Sansa, and then that's the Dawn. And it's baby cereal alpaca, and it has silk. In. Did you do something with dusk? Don't we have the same color of dusk on Mouse? You have, you have the color dusk. Dusk? Yeah. From Love the Enemy? Yeah. No. You do. I feel like we. Oh! I do. You do. I do. the same color. But I think I'm going to use that in my um, my rose card again by Andrea Mowry. I think that's what's going in. I love it. Is it stunning? stunning. So pretty. So yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's what we're wearing. Oh my gosh. Woo. Um, thank God we took that off. Right? It's getting warm. But it feels good. You know, I won't. Isn't it still good? It is good. Mmm. There's so okay. cheese. They kind of melt it. I guess with the ice in them. Um, what else do we have? Oh, whips. Or whips. Whips. What's a whip? Whip. Whip it good. Do, 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 do. What oh, you got a whip? You going first? You go. Alright, you guys. So I'm working on this. You know, I spend a lot of time at the hospital currently. Everyone knows that. So. And for those who don't, go back and watch our last episode, episode 11, and talks about that. I'm not in the middle of a row this time, guys. Okay, so I'm working on my half and half triangle wrap shawl. And um, it's a uh, it's a knit along with the Caddy Jacks and oh, podcast, right? right? So they're doing a knit along and they're going to meet up on the hill. Jordan Ryan back supposedly, which we haven't discussed that. Mm -hmm. Right? We don't know what's happening. happening. So I used the lavender opal and the beach stone, but this is from Pearl Soho. Yeah, Pearl Soho. It's a free pattern on Pearl Soho. And I'm mindlessly knitting. Ah, ah. Uh oh. I'm mindlessly knitting on this thing. So it's in my blue bean bag. Which her bag is gorgeous. And then here it is. So now, sometimes I have to stop, like, in the middle of the row, and I'm like, am I heading towards the fox? See, look at the little stitch marker. Oh, yeah, we got those from somebody. Somebody the little fox the yours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, like, either heading towards the fox or away from the fox, and I have to remember it. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> Are you doing that when you're drinking? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> you know it. You, you people know it. Absolutely. But the color is really it's pretty. Really nice. And this is the same color that we accidentally bought. Mm. She bought it, but I didn't know. I thought she got... Peach stone or something like that, and then it was beach stone, and we wound up realizing that we bought the same color because you know that always happens to us. Yeah, it does. What are you gonna use yours for? Do you know? No, I'm not just. Well, it was gonna be a Christmas at some point. I don't remember. But I'm super excited. So I have like a little bit left. Yeah. Look, I only have one left of the little skein, and then I'm moving on to the big one. Beautiful. It was only was it two skein product? No, it's three. I mean six total. Oh. So it's three of this color and three of the next color. Oh, oh okay. So it's long. Pretty. Pearl Soha had a really good sale the other day on um, a cotton blend yarn. I think a new yarn that they had, and it was like fifteen percent off. So it was, it was down like thirteen dollars. Oh, did you buy any? No, no buy. We'll talk about that later, in a little bit. We're talking about that in a little bit. <laughs> That's beautiful. But it's so pretty, right? I love and it. I love my little fox. You guys, look how cute. So pretty. It makes me so happy. Yeah, I have mine too. I love it. Beautiful. Yeah. And that's the woolly bean bag. That's oh, it. yeah, my woolly bean bag. I think she's back making bags. She just moved. Oh, she is? You know who else is back? Cat Sandwich. <gasps> Sailor Moon. Yeah, she's back. Oh. Did she have the update already? Yeah. Did you buy it? No, Lily saw it. See, look. So, so cute. cute. And it's like, it's light and nice and just carried away. Beautiful. Around. All right, so I have a whip. It's living in my Tan and Casey bag. It's a new whip. It is, well, I talked about it. Can I start it? I don't know if I started it last time. I can't remember. It's the Broen, Broen Shawl by TL Yarns. Um, I can't I remember if I talked about it or we were going to talk. Yeah, I can't remember. I think you just had started. So it has to be blocked. Oh, it's, my. Oh, my. But <gasps> here it is. Oh, my gosh. Look at the green. Isn't that pretty? Let me flip it around. So this is beautiful. It is beautiful. The yarn that I'm using is from Whole Knit and Caboodle. Terry. Hi Terry. Hi Terry. Um, I have this one which is Roxbury. Oh, so this good. is her, um, we'll link it below, but it's the Whole Knit and Caboodle, Terry. And if you are in um, Socrates. Socrates, the perfect blend yarn store. Hi ladies. Hi. Um, they stock her yarn as well. Their stock is for her yarn. I don't know if it, I know it's on her site too. So it's this one. This was Roxbury. Roxbury, because like I said, I messed that up. And then neon highlighter. 
and peony. It's so stunning. I love it's it. Stunning. So nice. So definitely check her out. And it's residing in my Tanny Casey bag. To love. And then my other one, I showed it last week, but I guess I'll show you again. It is, I didn't get much progress on it. It's living in my Paisley and Gold bag, and it is my... She does have, like, the best bag. She's so nice. It is Honey Waffle Cardigan by Coffee and Crocheting. And I'm doing it in green uh, as a notion bag from Three Bags Full Michelle. And this one, too. She's from Maine. Yeah. She's always at Rhinebeck. She's so sweet. And this is Riot Girl and Dream. I got it from my local yarn store. So, um, I haven't made much progress on it. Oh, wow. Look at so, that. So, my stitch marker is from Black Pearl Magic as well. Sheila. was a three-pack. So, yeah. So, I was, when we had local yarn shop day, I was talking to Willie and Jan because we met up at Pearls of Wisdom. And I was telling Willie, like, about my sweater. And I said, the only thing I wish I would have done is done, would have done this sweater in a solid so you can really see the waffle stitch. I wasn't thinking. Um, but I don't want to rip it. So she suggested that I keep this as my back panel, my front panels, and then do my sleeves in a solid color. But your sleeves aren't waffle. No, exactly. So then I was thinking maybe I'll do this all in the back. This would be my whole back panel. And then solid color? Then solid color that. What do you think? I'm thinking. I don't know yet. Or I might just continue to go with it. Or who knows? In a week from now, I might work the whole thing. You know, out. I have. Per you know, anyone else would look really good with this? A mint. It's the mint from Chelsea Yarns. My unicorn one? No, the solid. Oh. Mint one. Because you'd have to no, do no, the. You'd have to do the honeycomb in solid. See? Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. No, you're not gonna see it. Or I think you just ripping the whole thing out and do dream and color in gold. I think that would be nice too. And then just save this, and then I'll reuse the yarn. So that's where I'm playing it. But I think I might do that. Just do the whole thing in gold. Or do all of this in... I don't know. I don't know. i got to really... Think. I don't know if I would rip it. I think I would just go with it and then just do another... Sweater. Do another sweater. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Know, learning. This is fantastic. Yeah, I do love the yarn. I love the yarn a lot. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But... And you know what? Not only that, but sometimes I think you might, like... You know, because we work with things like up close and personal, but yeah. if you're far away, you might be able to see the honeycomb. Maybe. So maybe what I should do, we'll figure it out. Or I, I guess I could leave the back that and then do solid front. I could do that though, right? I could do the whole back and miss in the in the back. Like leave this all back. This could be the whole back and then do the front all in solid. Yeah. What do you think about that? Should I do that? Like pick the you solid. You the count, right? Yeah, I think I should be able to do that. I can finagle. I can. I could have been able to. See, this is why you should hoard yarn. <laughs> Goes back. Listen, right? Listen. It's okay. It's we're going with that. Right, right people? Like we're going well. with that. Um. <laughs> Alright, so what do we got next? Um, is that all the thing? Do you have any whips? No, I'm done with my... Well, you guys know I'm working on some whips, but... Right. Anything to show? Like, no progress on anything, which... I should be making progress on something, but I just... I've lost some of the mojo unless it's like basic knitting. Oh, you have a lot going on. No, I understand, but I'm just like... I'm not going to say who, but somebody who we know, I told you. I'm not going to out her on, the, on our <laughs> podcast. But our friend hasn't knit anything for a year. Remember I told you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We know who you are and we love you. <laughs> we know who you are. <laughs> if you meet us on Sunday, we're going to have a conversation about it. <laughs> yes, yes, we, we are. We don't know you're meeting us, <laughs> but you're meeting us. Yes. Right? Well, definitely. We're going to message them. And, well, like I said, let us know if you're on the area. You can meet, meet up with us, too. Um, is that everything? Yeah, and then we have all the things. Oh, shoot. All right, everyone get a big glass. Go refill. But I keep losing my Twizzler. Just pause. Go get a drink. Go get a drink. Cause because Nina escape, Nina escape. It looks like a mini rhyme back. Are you ready? No, I can't even. Are you ready? Listen, we seriously got spoiled. So bad. Oh, we gotta talk about something really important right now. We got spoiled. Look at these earrings. <gasps> okay, let's just say this. Simone. Simone. Oh Dude, were you so gosh. shocked? Do you love them? Oh my gosh, these are epic. Right? Look at these. So good. You guys look. 
This is like my color. This is like the dress in my homecoming, like my homecoming dress. Yeah. In like nineteen. That's your color. Teal is still good on you. Look at that. And my aunt had a teal Camaro that. <laughs> These are so good. These are by a Ukrainian jewelry shop. Ukrainian jewelry shop. On Etsy. Etsy. Yeah, and I Simone it. gifted us these earrings. Oh I gosh. will ask her if I... Um, thank you, Simone, so yes, much. Simone. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Go follow her on the Insta. Yeah. If I'll ask her if I can put her below. But isn't the, aren't these freaking amazing? Oh and she gosh. messaged me the one day and was like, I want to get these for you and Kitty. And oh. Kitty had no idea. No, she shocked me today when she showed up at the house. I said, oh. So pretty. So and now it happens. Like, look at the colors. No, like so she good. knows perfectly. Like, so good. So good. So thank you so much, Simone. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. So everyone should have gotten their drink by now. You know, you drank your your food of choice. You guys can pause. Get comfy because oh man. it's gonna happen. I, I don't even have all my stuff in yet. Oh, you don't? No, I got. Oh, okay. So are we ready? Let's do that. All right, we're doing this. We're doing it, Kitty. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Not. Nah, I can't even. I can't even right now. I can't reach. I can't reach it. I can't even, you guys. I cannot Ugh. even right now. I have surprises in here for you. You do? Yeah. Really? Well, I told you on the Instagram. Well, you did tell me something happened. But I got surprises in you. So where do we start? I feel like, first of all, you start with that damn bag. Go ahead, just start. Because this is epic, right? Yeah. You guys, Go ahead. You guys can you see it? Can you see this? So mad. Can you see this? Let's get ready to roll, okay? So now we are all about roller ski, and you know we're all about roller ski. Yeah, we're going to roller ski if we go to Rhinebeck. Somehow we're going to figure this crap out. We're yeah. going to roll straight down the street. We're, there's a race. We're not letting anyone take it for a roller ski. No, right? we're doing this. This is our idea. We've been saying it. We went live. No one steal it. <laughs> okay, so here we go, guys. Look at this bag. Okay, I have like all this stuff in the bag. So let me just take all this stuff. Because you can like hoard all the things inside the back, okay? I can't even. I cannot even right now. Look at all this stuff. Candy's coming out, stickers. It's okay. ridiculous. Okay, so ridiculous. Look, look at this bag. And then look. Look at the inside of the bag. Can you show that inside? Okay, look at the inside. The Pocket! See, look. It's like a bag within a bag. Like you could. <laughs> It's ridiculous. This bag makes me so happy because you guys all know, like, my secret, like, my secret of talent is, like, I'm a really good roller skater. What's your secret talent? Were you in the derby? I no, think. I don't derby. I don't derby. I, like, skate. <laughs> okay? And, like, seriously, when Alan and I show up to the roller rink, like, we take the kids roller skating and we're, like, the king and the queen of the roller <laughs> skating world. <laughs> I love we, it. We, like, roller skate better than all the kids are, like. <laughs> You're showing up the poor children. Listen, at Rolling Rock, yeah. you know where Rolling Rock Yeah, 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 yeah. That lady there, she just screams at everyone all the time. It's not nice. It's like a little roller skating rink. But I grew up roller skating on a wood floor. So the roller skating rink where I grew up, you know, has changed the floor to like a hockey floor. Okay. So it's like stinky. Oh. But anyway. That's so here we go. Phenomenal. Look at this. We're so gonna this link is them CG, below. CG yarn. I don't know if I want to link them below. No, that's. No, we have to. I don't want to because the people are going to buy everything. Listen, Renee, oh my god. And Cass. Well, Renee makes the bag, Cass dies the yarn. Yeah, so they're yarn besties, just like us. Yeah, CG, CG yarn, check them out, we'll link them below. Listen, we might be having something come up with them. Yes. We're going to talk about this after the podcast, and then, during, then I mean, this is going to be This crazy. is epic. This epic, is epic like, you guys. Like, guys, crazy. Okay. Crazy. Okay, so, so you guys saw the front of the bag. Look at this. Does this like not scream like 1980s to you? Because I'm like a 1980s girl. All the way. It's so good. It's so, I'm so, I have FOMO. I really have FOMO. Look at this. I oh, she'll hook you up one. No, she's I don't got the fabric. She, I don't know. She, she told me she doesn't have one of those fabrics. I talk to her all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, she's coming to run back with us. She's going to stay with us if we go. Oh, yeah, she has to. Absolutely. Her and yeah. Simone are saying, I don't know, we're not going to party. And Cass has to stay with yeah, us. Yeah, it's going to be freaking amazing. Yeah, who's staying with us? We're going to talk about that afterwards. Oh, yeah. It's big. You got to figure out the house. Yeah. Okay. So good. So, so, I mean, do you want me to go through all her stuff that she sent me? Well, I think we should do, like, go, th like, yeah. Okay. I, I got to do her stuff. Yeah. Okay. Go. So, she sent me a gift for you. For me? Yeah, for you. Why? Oh, that's no, that's not that doll. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> so much stuff. There's so much stuff. That's mine. 
So she sent me this for you. Okay, so it says for Jesse. City girl, country girl, yeah. for Jesse with a little heart. Okay? What is that? I don't even know. So I'll let you open it. Oh my gosh. Renee, I don't know why you sent me anything else. Okay, you've already taken my credit card. Bad Listen, people. she takes our credit card. Like, she took my credit card. Twice. Are we going to talk about that too? I guess we have to at some point. I mean, she. The big thing. Oh, the big thing? <laughs> We're not talking about that! Oh my god. Wait, I got some from you her too. Wait, for you. Oh my god. I love it. I'm freaking cute. I know, right? Can you see that? You guys should all go to her shop right now. <gasps> Shit! What? <laughs> what? I forgot the damn oven. The cake in the oven. Oh, it's on your shelf. Okay, you guys, look at this. Oh, figure something out. Okay, look at this stitch marker. Now, what? you guys, it. it's like serious FOMO. Wait. I can take a cassette. We're going to like link, put pictures in here because I've learned how to do that. <laughs> do you see that? Can you fill that drink? What? Can you fill that drink? Fill what drink? <laughs> they say it's good. We, I mean, it seems like it got bigger. The drink got bigger. It's so good. They're so amazing. Listen, I can't even. All right, what else did you get from her? Okay. Oh. So listen. She knows I love Alice, right? So she had this Alice bag. And I really wanted Alice bag, right? And you know, under certain circumstances, I'm like, I probably shouldn't order through the outs. You know, being I'm right. being very cautious. Okay. So she took it upon her heart to make me an Alice bag, which Renee, I love you because it really made my whole entire week. So she made me an Alice in Wonderland bag, and you guys know the story about Alice in Wonderland, right? Because, like, when I was younger, right, I love Alice. She's like my favorite. And my mom gave me her Alice in Wonderland watch from when she was a little girl. Isn't that sweet? Right? So, so I, lo I love Alice. It has like a special, you know, it's like my plate. mom, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So she... I'm surprised you didn't name Willie Alice. I'm surprised too. So look at this bag, you guys. She made me this bag. And she sent it. It's so beautiful. Out of the pure love of her heart. I love it. It's gorgeous. They are so talented. I know, right? So talented. And then they're like stickers, I mean everything. Yeah, like little Alice stick. You guys know I love Alice. Well, it's so good. Their whole theme was like a lot of Alice in Wonderland tea party for Knit and Escape. So here's the thing. If you didn't get part of Knit and Escape, sorry. I mean, because I, I know she has some stuff left, but a lot of her stuff from like Alice stuff sold out like seconds. So, but definitely check that's out her like, shop. That's like my biggest regret is not buying that bag. But I just, I just kind of buy it. Well, I'm pretty sure we made up for it in another way. Listen, <laughs> look at the little Alice sticker she sent. She's pretty epic. So good. And then Cass, right? Oh, yeah. Wait. Then Cass, she sent me, I think this is. Chester cap? The Chester, Chester cap. Look. So freaking good. You guys, it's epic. Look at that color. Okay, listen, you know what I was thinking about? <clears throat> okay, you see this color, like this and this? I think... The That's your color? No, the sweater. I can't see the sweater on the air because it's the, the surprise sweater. Oh, is it this the Rhinebeck sweater? Yes, the Rhinebeck sweater. Do you think you can make it work? I think you could. I think we can. I think we can. I think you could. I think we can. I think we can. <laughs> we can do anything we put our minds to. So she said stickers. Oh, yeah, all this stuff. All this stuff. So she said me. I just gave you, I gave you her pin, as she said, right? Yeah. Which is so cute from Glitterville. So sweet. Oh God, so I love cute. that. Alright, so then, look at this freaking bag. Oh my God. Epic. Epic unicorn. Look at the ruffle. Like, so good. So good. So I bought this bag. I don't want to use it, but she said I have to use it. She said she'll kill me if I don't. I'm going to find the most perfect project for it. Isn't it so good? You have Look to at the back. Them. I mean, it's just so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Then she detail. right. Like I mean, she's so good. Her stitching. I mean, she's so there. Renee is really so good. talented in bags, and Cass is phenomenal at dyeing. Yeah. And then look at this color. Oh my gosh, look at that. Cocktails in Miami. Ooh, your favorite place. <laughs> 
now and I would just take off to Miami for the weekend. So, for, I mean, look, you won't even understand how bright and, like, dynamic this is. Because Cass hand paints the yarn. She doesn't, she hand paints this yarn. And you will not understand how bright and vibrant this is until you see it in person. Right? Oh my like, gosh. Crazy. This color is amazing. Like, I, I, I. It's like fire. It's like so good. It's like pink fire. I'm obsessed. So we love them. We so do. much so that I'm going to tell them. No. Oh. Oh. No. I got to. Kidding. Because we're done. We already got ours. So. Okay. So we bought the Avent. We did. 80s radio. 80s themed Avent from CGCG Yarn. They only had 10 kits. It's like the VIP kit it, of the year. It's like. Right? There's only 10 kits. Only 10. Christy Glass got hers. Yes. We got ours. We got ours. So I don't care <laughs> It's <laughs> at this point. Let me tell you what happened. She told me what she was doing at events, okay? Because this could have, I mean, well, here's the thing. We got Chelsea Yarn at event. That was given. We had yeah. so much FOMO last year oh. doing at event. Yeah, especially during her, like, vlog. We were like, oh, my Calling gosh. Calling each other, like, what were Why we Why did we get at event? Like, so much FOMO. So hers came dropped, I think, during the Escape Weekend, too. That was a Sunday. Weekend. Was it Sunday? Was it? Maybe it was the next weekend. I don't know. But some, we got it, okay? We were, we did. boom. I called you. I said, are you ready? All right. Um, like Lisa was, was messaging us and blessing oh, us on the journey. Yeah. She said, are you, what are you guys getting? Extension? I mean, um, are we Renee getting the glitter? The glitter? We're getting glitter, the non glitter. We're getting a full skein, non I mean, it was like crazy. It was an adventure pack. It was everything. All right, so boom, got it. Then Renee tells me. Like last couple days ago, Cass found minis. Well, she is not. Does sound like that? She saw them. Oh yeah, Renee. <laughs> She's like, Cass got minis, and I said, what? Yeah. I said, I don't care what Cass got. I'm getting an advent calendar. All right. So then I had to hang out where where Marco Polo is. So I'm talking to her. I hang out with this one. Uh, her. I had to call her on Bestie. I said, get on Instagram. It's up. <laughs> she well, said, so we what's knew, up? No wait. We knew it was going up before it was up. Yes. We did know. We did know. And then it was up. And then I called you. And then you bought it. And yeah. I was like, I don't know. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. She was nervous. I don't know. <laughs> and then I called her like Tuesday morning. The and next I, day. I got it. Yeah, she called. No, you didn't call me. You texted me and said, I got the advent. So I had to call her and say, you got the advent. You told me you weren't getting the advent. But I knew she was going to get the advent because she was going to have FOMO. You would have died. only like four left. And I was like, oh my God. Like, you would have died. How can, I mean, we have a podcast. Yeah. I mean, this is like. And we're going to link their podcast below because you guys, they're amazing. They're such nice people inside and out. They're so talented. And, you know, we're all about women supporting women. Yes. And, you know, everyone has the chance to shine. You, nobody is, you all have the chance to shine. And they're yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. So good. So we don't, I don't know how many are left in their Etsy. I know there are some in like people's carts and stuff like that. But if you didn't get one. And they're there, you need to jump on it. Like, yeah. jump because on I it. I think this, it's going to be awesome. This is going to be the one where everyone has the FOMO. And they only got 10. Hopefully, maybe they'll get more. No, but minis. listen, Renee, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to DM you because I think I know where you can get minis. Oh, we do. Oh, I do. Do I? I don't know. Am I thinking of the same farm you're thinking of? We'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> DM me. Um, or I'll DM you. Yeah. I think I might know. I don't know. Maybe. Um, Epic. So anyway, get that. So C G C G R. All right. What else did we get, Kitty? Oh my God. Oh, all right. Where are we going next? Are we going this? We going? No, that's the last one. Is that the last one? I don't know. See, we don't plan anything. All right. We'll do this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So our girl, Dolphina. Oh. Dolphina. She's. We'll link her. Obviously, we'll link her below as well. We love Dolphina. Dolphina, we love she you. She holds a special place in our heart, and we wish we could like hang out with her all the time because she loves gin and tonic. Oh yeah. She likes to drink like us, and I feel like she's just a party. Dolphina is a party on her own. Yeah, like I like, yeah, for sure. For sure, awesome, epic. Yeah. So Dolph was saying in one of her things that like she got this fabric that reminded her of us. Oh yeah, and she said it out on Instagram. She said this reminds me of the name Kitty and Hopes and Coffee. Yes, right, cracking up. And she said this fabric. Out. Peeing ourselves about this. So then she was part of an escape too. Yeah, she was part of an escape. We this was the got a escape one. bag. Yeah. We got it. Okay, so I got the little one. And I got the big one, and it says, bitch, please, I'm a unicorn. And you know, this is the bag that she was like, this is the fabric 
you know, that was that she said was remind of her of us, and it does. Yeah, and I think she she might be doing like the big buckets for us. Also, if she's got the fabric, she said. Okay, let's talk about the stitching on this. I did talk about my Instagram. There's uh, hearts. Yeah, look at those little tiny hearts, you guys. Like she see? stitched hearts on this, and then the inside. inside. <laughs> is this reversible? Oh, is it? I don't know. It could, probably could be. Maybe I'm not sure. I'll make it. No, it's no. not. But look, look. Like, happy rainbow. I would love a bag in this too. <coughs> Being rainbow. Yeah. So good. I'm <coughs> stuck in my throat. It's my allergies. Drink. Okay? She got the vid. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't have the vid. So, isn't this amazing? Dolphina did it again. She strikes again. And so I ordered this, you ordered that, and I got yarn from okay. her. Oh, you did? Yeah, well, I got a skein of mohair, this unicorn mohair, because I was like, there's so many things I could do with this and add different colors that I wanted it. And she sent epic sticker. Oh, wait, this is 72% kid mohair. Don't breathe this. 28% <laughs> silk. It's 456 grand. It's called Loco Unicorn. It's the, her whisk it's so base. Cute. Um, It's so good. And Dolphina, we'll link her below, but it's dolphinacollective.com. This is beautiful. Okay. Um, All right, well, let me go it. one more time. Why? Because I did get you a gift. Why? Because I could not let the Starbucks bag from Dolphina go without getting it for Hooks and Hobby. Okay? Look at this cute little bag. Oh, my God. And you guys, I'm all about sock knitting right now because I'm going to do socks. I think these, these are perfect. Hey, this is so perfect. I know. Look at it. It's like coffee. It is. It's for me. But it's like me and you at Starbucks. Oh, it's All the time, because then we have our other group. So now we have to start making socks. Oh, my gosh. Maybe that's what I'll learn to knit, is knit. So I have so much to show you. So, I mean, this, Delfina, you mohair, bags, lover. Oh, the stickers. You had stickers she had. Oh, yeah, Delfina sent some stickers. How cool Look are the stickers? These. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. I'm going to put these on my computer. I love them. Right? All I right. love her so much. So I got stuff for you. And we have like a thing coming up with her too. Mm -hmm. We let us talk about it. I don't know. Whoops. <laughs> All right, let me talk about what we got for you. So it's Dolphina Collective, you guys. Go check her out. Yes. www.dolphinacollective.com. And follow her. And so we'll link everything below, obviously. Yeah. Make sure you follow her. So I got, so Katie from the Knit Kit was also part of Knit and Escape. And she was so much fun. She came to our cocktail hour, like, Great person, great oh energy. Gosh, right? She was right after us, so much fun. So I bought like a skein of her yarn, and lo and behold, there's a box shows up, and she's like knittery, like best knitting friends stick together. Ooh. And I was like, oh my gosh! So you saw them because I went live, but I got this is the knit kit. So she made the knit kit, and they are freaking phenomenal. Oh my gosh, look how cute you guys! Right, and this is the knit kit 2.0. Oh, so it has a crochet hook and needle, collapsible scissors, a tape measure, a thread cutter, a row counter, holy moly, locking stitch markers, regular stitch, stitch markers, point protectors, darning needle, and needle gauge. Yeah. Then they kit 2.0. So you guys can just throw this in your yeah, knitting bag. Yeah, you just bag. throw all this in your knitting bag. Ooh, oh, the, oh, the, the chips. <laughs> it has everything. Your scissors that are collapsible. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my gosh, look at this. My flamingo scissors that are collapsible, your point protector, stitch markers, a daring needle. Oh, listen, these are real nice stitch markers. Yeah, a little tape measure on the side. It's a counter, and this is really cool. Like, look, like all the. I mean, this is amazing. You throw this right in your bag, you'll be super organized. Oh, look, you guys, and you can do hundreds, tens, and ones. Yes. <gasps> you know, she she talked about this. You know, during her. Um, demonstration. Yeah. I don't think you actually understand what it is until, until you get it. You because you're like, what is it? Like, you're getting all this stuff, but, like, guys, you're getting all oh, this you guys, your yeah. tape measure. Yeah, like, you're getting all this stuff in here. Like, all this stuff in here. Yeah, because then you could just, what? You're just going to toss it right in your bag. Yeah. And go. Yeah. So, it's perfect. So, Katie sent these both for us. How oh, sweet is that? thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. You toss it in and go. And go. Perfect. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. And then I ordered a skein of yarn from her, and then she sent me one for you. <gasps> for me? Summer camp! Yeah, look. Twinsies! Oh my gosh, you guys. So this is called Summer Camp. It's pink zinc. 
and how it is hand -dyed 123 hand -dyed yards, hand-dyed yard at the Cape. How amazing is that? Oh, I'm pink tie-dye. You're pink tie-dye, and I'm pink zinc. Her colors are pretty good. They're really good, right? Yeah. I love it. So, like, how and cool is that? And she recaptured us, too. What are we going to do with this? I don't know. What do you guys think? So good. So good. So, this well, was awesome. I mean, she knows so, she's the one who sent the Twizzlers, and she sent us lollipops. Oh, this, yeah. yeah. So good. Oh. So thank you so much, yeah, Katie. You, Katie. We'll link Katie below. Get yourself a knit kit. You'll be very excited for that. Oh my gosh, this knit kit is pretty epic. Right? So I mean you really don't understand what it is until, until you it shows get it. Up. Until you get it. So I'm so excited. Alright, and then this was a non purchase, not like part of um what was that? Nanisky. Not part of Nanisky. But I had to do it because it's lovely yarn shop day. And so, okay, it was not my fault, Simone. It was Simone's fault? Simone's fault. She's like, I'm going to House of Alamo because she lives in, um, House of Alamo is in Oregon. And so Simone was there. And then she oh, messaged yeah, she gets me. a lot of the yarn. And she was like, look at this mini pack from Sprinkled Fiber. I mean, we forgot about these. Oh, yes. You guys, these are also from Katie. The Hummingbirds. The Sea Glass Hummingbirds from Katrinko. It's Katie. They're in Katie's shop. I don't know if they're still there, but check this out. Oh my gosh, she was so sweet. And these so cute. Yeah, sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you, but look. Oh, I know what to do that. All right, sorry. Go ahead. Let's no, go on with, with, your, with your purchase. None. Sorry for the crinkle. Listen. Sprinkle fiber. I can't even right now. Little minis. Listen, I have a surprise for you. Oh, shoot. What? What did you do? Guys, I don't know if you have, we'll talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> what did you do? Okay. So, you know we love, we love sprinkle fibers, yes. right? And you got this yes. set, right? Yeah, I got the, a little mini set for local yarn shop day. And side note, they were sold out online, so I called them and they shipped this to me. So, I was really excited. But anyway, what did you do? Because when you say you have a surprise for them, you did something. Okay, so you know she has the, the flower oh, the, shawl. Yeah, the pressed petal. petal. And you know that I was just doing my Rhinebeck purchase when we went to Doylestown, and I just didn't find the yarn for it. Yes. Remember Forever yes. Yarns? Yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. What did you do? So then she put it, she put it on the gram that she's going to have this update. Okay, so she had the update. And then I was looking through her through her stuff, and I was like, I have, must have like missed the update, maybe. I must have missed it. Because it was like the previous Friday and not this Friday. And I thought she was having the update this Friday. Yes. So I messaged her. I'm like, I want it. You know, because no. she doesn't have a website. Right, no. Every, so you have to catch her when she goes. Like she'll post. It's Friday. It's usually Friday, specific time, 4 7 o'clock. Right? There, we're Eastern, so it's 4 here. No, well, it's 7, seven here, here. It's 4, four there. there. Oh, did you see my arm flap? Go ahead. <laughs> Listen, I caught, I caught Amazon. I said, I ordered my summer body. I haven't showed it up yet. Like, oh, my God. This is so, okay, wait. Flabby yarn. Yarn. Oh, okay. God. Ahead. So, I, so I messaged her. She must be like, this girl's a complete idiot. It was like last week. So I said, oh, I'm in. I need it. Right? So I said, Mother's Day. Right. right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. And, you know. My, my children treat me pretty good for Mother's Day, so I said, oh, Mother's Day, great, boom. So I messaged her, and she's like, oh, well, some lady, like, something happened with her charge card. Oh. She said, I might have one left. I emailed her, or, like, messaged her, yes. and if I don't hear back from her, then it's yours, right? So I was like, oh, I hope. Fingers crossed, people. Fingers crossed. Did you? And I... I, she's like, by 5 p.m. her time. So it's 8 p.m. our time. So I messaged her back. I said, is it a go? And she's like, it's yours. <gasps> Yay! So you got it? So I got it. So it's supposed to be my Rhine bag purchase. Rhine bag? No, yeah, I was supposed to buy it at Rhine bag. Oh, oh, I was oh, supposed oh. to buy it for every yarn. So I was looking at um, the cocoa. Remember the cocoa? <laughs> You know the yarn that you bought? The pink and the white Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kona, Kona, Kona. I don't remember. I got earrings. But that designed by Yasmin did earrings in them. Yeah, it was like, I was looking at her yarn for that project. And then I just didn't, wasn't feeling it. So I let it. it go. But I think Sprinkle Fibers is like the perfect thing. And I don't know if I'll actually, 
Like, I think I'll, I'll have so much fun in yeah. knitting it. Yeah. Because it's mint green, Love and color. it's, like, light pink, and it's it's pretty epic. And she oh, is, like, good. a young girl, and yes. she's, like, her, her a mom. fantastic Amazing. And she's like, do you Venmo? I'm like, PayPal? She's like, oh, my mom. You said it to my mom? Yes. How do you not have Venmo, Kitty? No, I have a Venmo, but I was like, it was just easier for me PayPal. to PayPal. So, like, so good. So she, her yarn now is at Black Mountain Yarn Shot in North Carolina. So now I'm going to have to tell Renee when she goes there to send me her yarn. Buy it and send it to So me. is there permanently or just I, a I don't know. Show? I think there might be there permanently. And I saw colors that I've lost, so I'm going to make Renee go oh. get it for me. Mm -hmm. So... So there we have it. This is a little bit of, so I still am waiting for some other things. I have a yarn and whiskey bag coming. It told me it shipped. Oh, okay. So that's the bag. It's so That's the Obama. Oh, Kamala. It's the Obama. No, uh -huh. Kamala Harris bag. I thought it was the gossip chair bag. Is that a gossip chair bag? No, I didn't get that one. I got the knit and escape um, print. I got that. That's coming, so you'll see that as soon as we get it. And then I really I, loved her, like her, her um, colors. I love her colors. Yeah. But I loved her presentation during yeah. this escape. So you guys good. have to check it out in the next. You should definitely go. It's awesome. It's virtual. It's like ten dollars. You get so, and for ten dollars you get so much. Even if you don't want to do add-ons, you get so much for your the ten dollar twenty dollar ticket. You can get but do an extra add-on to get recording. Like it was so fun. The discounts are... So I got that. Alright, Kitty, I also have to tell you something else. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm such a bad person. You're not a bad person. No, alright. Well, well, you know I got the sweaters quantity of DK yarn from Chelsea Yarn. They didn't come yet. I just get it shipped here Friday. Whoa, 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 whoa. You were there with me, the mint unicorn. Christina oh, didn't um, put it in the shop. Let's, let's talk about that. So I was like waiting for this mint unicorn, okay? But you put it in for something else. Right, because I didn't see it in the shop. I said, I'm like, Christina, where the freak is the mint unicorn? I knew you were having it. You told me you were having oh, it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We called her. No, this wasn't for Nina's game. This was like the This was Allentown. One. Allentown. So we had to like sign off, jump onto the other computer. And I'm like, Christina. So I'm on her shop, loading, loading. Kitty's looking. We can't find it. I'm like, oh my God. We're both looking for it. I said, it sold out. How did it sell out? I told her, don't sell out. So then she's like going live, right? So no, I'm but like, you went in. She went in and ordered a sweater's quantity of the dream cycle. Dream cycle, like, beautiful. She's like, I'll just, yes, cycle. I'll settle for it. So then I go into the live and I'm like, <clears throat> Christina, sorry to interrupt because it's so rude to interrupt what? someone's live. Oh, we were in the live. Yeah. yeah. And then she's like, I do have it. I put it in the side. I put it in the side. Thank God. So I bought that. You know that. No, but listen. So we were talking to her because when we FaceTime her, yeah, or it's, I don't remember. I forget we instant messaged her or like FaceTime her. Yeah. So we're sitting there talking to her, and she's like, "I put some to the side." Yeah. I don't know. People might get mad. Blah blah. blah. And then in comes Noah, and was like, <laughs> "Her son is Noah." He's well, like, everyone knows who Noah. Is, no, right? because they thought Lily was the dog. <laughs> oh yeah, Lily is my daughter, and Noah is my son. So Shy Noah comes is the in. Dog. Noah comes in and he's like, oh, it's the cracked corn lady. They're like, she's giving her dog's crack. <laughs> our dog's our chicken's crack. And we give her the dog. So she gave her chicken's crack. So Noah's like, it's the cracked corn lady. So funny. Because he watched me watch her vlogmas. Well, so good. I love Christy and I love Chelsea Yarn. She's the so red bag, my good, sweetest people <laughs> ever. So I got that. All right, you know I was speaking of chickens. There's my girl out there. Same and thing. I ordered stuff of Silence Minis. Okay, well, anyway, so let's move on. Did you really buy all that? Well, I ordered Stephanie. Oh, what's your stitch marker? Oh, yeah, I ordered Stephanie the Silent Father Listen, Minis. Listen, thank you guys so much. This is, like, amazing. You guys spoil us unbelievably. We cannot be more grateful, especially, like, under those circumstances. Yes, thank you. It was beautiful. We had so much fun. Nancy was black. We had great during cocktail hour. I mean, we love it. We really do love um, meeting all the people, and we talked about it last week. I do have a new notion to buy for you. For me? Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, Kathy! Yeah, keep calling Kathy. It's you can't call her Kathy. It's a kidding. Yeah. We didn't talk about the epic, epic bag. Oh. Oh! Yeah, it's Okay, so I got it as a Mother's Day present. Oh, right, right, right. Chris Jen sent to me as a Mother's Day present. This is so cute. Look at this. And I sent her one. I love this. This Thank one you. Bag, I, I just think you, everyone, you, you can always use a notion bag. Absolutely. I can think you're a distant. Yeah. It came from Joanne's. So pretty. It's cute, right? Um, look at this. Kitty. I can't. Did this. you hear what I said? I bought a 10 pack of Asylum Fire minis. Oh. 
Did what? you pizza? Are you making purchases like without consulting me? Yeah, that's it. I've made a 10. I got 10 minis from Stephanie at Sound Fibers because I'm doing the Ziggy. Let's get Ziggy with it. No, 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 I'm going to do the Ziggy. Yeah, you're going to do it with, because it's like a crocheted along. Crochet or a Yeah, exactly. And it's like, so many people are doing it. Come on, do the Ziggy with me. I, got I, can't the, I did ziggy. the videos because they're having like Zoom meetings. We're going to meet up. Kind of like what she did with the Doodler. But I, then I have to buy the pattern, right? I bought the pattern. Okay. So I, I bought you the buy pattern. The so it should be in your Ravelry. Why would you buy me the pattern? Yeah, it should be in her Ravelry. So anyway. <laughs> Does that mean I get the classes? No, you gotta pay for the classes. Well, it's not classes, it's like videos, but it's like you'll get, we'll be able to Zoom with people. It's gonna be awesome. It'll be so much fun. So right? do it. Cause it's it's a, I am, I am Are you in? Yeah. We're zigging it. No, no, no. So I came up that to the official Ziggy song. Listen, I'm gonna, what's the Ziggy song? Getting Ziggy with it. No, 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 no. No, 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 getting ziggy with it. No, 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 <laughs> that's a new ziggy song. All right. Listen, what's going to be our new Rhymebook song? Oh, shoot. Kitty, the bag purchase. <laughs> this podcast. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. The bag, Kitty. You're a bag. Okay, let me get, get it. This was the Knit and Escape bag. One of the Knit and Escape bags. Well, the bag. First off, we know, we know all about Tan and Casey. Okay, let's talk about Tan and Casey. We know all about Tan and Casey. Tan and Casey is like... Phenomenal. Phenomenal. And we all know about her from her Ryan Beck story. So good. I thought you just put on sunglasses. Please don't ask me questions today. Um, <laughs> really? I thought you did. Um, talk about this bag. Okay, that's so good. You guys, look at this. I'm, I'm going to wear this to Forever Yarns on Sunday. That's oh, where we're going. Yeah, and we're going to put our best friend pins on here. And we're going to put our best friend pins in. And we're going to roll up in that place. They see me rolling. They hate it. What is happening this week? Go Catch on. me riding dirty. <laughs> this <laughs> Oh my god. Every week, we need these drinks. <laughs> Well, it was a black 
very like blackberry. I have the Mai Tai. From like the dis- beer distributor, they like make slushies, and you have the Mai Tai. What beer distributor is this? By my house. But a lot of them do the slushies. It's melted now, so we just have ice in it. But it's delish, and it's like slushies. And you guys, this is it. That's all I drink. <laughs> They're really good, right? Do you like it? Yeah, like if we have these by the pool this summer, we're gonna be in trouble. We're gonna be drown drowning in the pool. No, it might be like maybe we should film from the pool. Listen, we had a magical unicorn summer yeah. like a couple of years ago. This right? year's more amazing. This is a more amazing summer. You guys were having a more amazing. Summer. Taking it back, more amazing summer. Right. No one's gonna claim the mermaid. No, it's ours. It's where the mermaid. You know it's mine. Well, you're the siren. I am the siren. You're a mermaid on the siren. I don't know. You are a little sirenish. Well, we don't want to talk about. They. Listen, we're not talking about that. We may talk about it at a later date, but we're yeah. not going to talk about it. But we're it so now. excited for our more amazing summer. So these are from the beer distributor. I said, I'm going to pick up slushies. It's hot. Like, it's a perfect day for a good slush. But they are like melted, so we added ice. And then. Of course, we have chips and salsa because slushies, chips and salsa is like perfect for summer, right? Yeah, this pretty, is, what pretty is this? will be a margarita. I don't know. It's just regular peach mango, mango salsa. Delish. Right? It is good. So that's our drinks. We talked about the Ziggy. That's what we're doing. Is Rhinebeck happening? Apparently. Are we going to be there? Hopefully. Are we going to be there? Is a the question. Hopefully, we'll be there. That's it. Oh. We already talked about the Advents. Advents. <laughs> oh my gosh. This Does is... she have like a southern accent? Yeah, Advents. I don't know where that came from. Advents. So we got Chelsea's and CGCG. I'm not buying any more Advents. There are some Advents that have dropped that I did look at. This one person, shoot, I don't remember her name, but it was like, choose your own freaking princess. Your Disney princess Advent. I'm surprised you can do it. I, I, I cannot physically do it. I will have to start stripping on a pole. To make extra money. Listen, a pole's a good workout. I'm gonna be peanut butter Listen, cup. I took a class once. I took a class. How am I gonna explain to my grandfather that I'm stripping on the pole? He'll kill me. You never been stripping the pole. No. What's your stripper name? I would be strawberry shortcake. Oh snap. <laughs> I'm peanut butter cup. Peanut butter Ooh. Peanut butter cup. Don't kill me in the middle. <laughs> Listen. Never be I, I will. Listen, um, so we got <laughs> we got our advents. We got our advents, we got the yard, and we're doing no buy until July. Listen. Stop your hands. Listen. I had the no buy. Until July. Well they, we have pre nut but pre nut butter. Pre nut butter. We have pre I do have a premeditative buy. Did you say pre <laughs> I have a premeditative buy. Which is if I get if Hohe comes out with the hot pink neon pompa bag extra large, it's that happens. So I premeditated by. Well, okay, let's rewind that. Okay. The hot pink what bag? Pompa bag. The circular. Is it the Delta bag? No, the circular one like you have. In hot pink or neon, extra large. They say if she comes out with the pink hot pink Delta bag, I'm in. Yes. We have to do that. That's premeditative. We need to write premeditative purchase down so that they don't count. Okay, let's write it down. <laughs> write down your premeditative purchases. How July, many July, July. Delta pink bag? Okay, and I'm probably going to do a spectrum yarn. Another one? Yeah, I mean, Kathy, I'm telling Kitty, when I'm telling you, this yarn. Is she is coming epic. on maternity leave? Yeah, that's, so that's the problem. <clears throat> epic. That's it. No okay, well, more. wait a minute. What? Well, we have our rhyme back. What are we going to do about rhyme back? Oh, we got to go. Well, if we don't go. Well, I mean, we have to. So, obviously, there are circumstances, you know, that are beyond our control if we cannot go. But if, if everything lines up, we will be at Rhinebeck. The problem is, I cannot go to Rhinebeck without my yarn bestie. You can't. No. You're going to have to. No. It won't happen. You have to go. No. No. You have to It's go. not questionable. So no, you can go. Stop. I will not go to Rhinebeck without my yarn bestie. You have to go. Stop it. Wear the needle on the hook. We would cry. What am I going to be, the hook? Yeah, you'd be like, like, and the hook. You'd be the hooker. <laughs> so, so if my yarn bestie cannot go, I will not be at Rhinebeck. Okay, well, you should go to Rhinebeck. Not without you. You have to go. No! You have to go. No. We've been going to Rhinebeck together.